Yo! Hello everybody! Today we are playing Ascension 1, I think Ascension 1, yeah, with uh, the Ironclad. Yeah, I've unlocked two with uh, the Defect and the Watcher, so yeah, we'll do the Ironclad. Okay, so what are we going to pick first? Let's go for a rare colourless card or a random rare card. It's a tough call. Um, I think I'm going to take the damage. I'm going to go for a rare colourless card. Let's go mad. Uh, Mayhem can be good. Sadistic Nature can be great. Um, lots of vulnerable to be dished out. Uh, I do like Mayhem, but the setup cost on Sadistic Nature is zero, so I think I'm going to go with that. And let's uh, take a look here. Right, I've been watching my Jorbs uh, to get better, and he said that the first three fights are from a different pool. So I'm going to go up this left track, take the first three, go to the mystery thing on the left, and then get that upgrade, and then get the next upgrade too, so... I shouldn't even do the fourth fight till I'm near the very end. And then I should have a very strong deck. So first we'll do Sadistic Nature. Let's uh, block here. A little bit of damage. And then Bash is coming out next. Hello to my two viewers in the chat. Feel free to say hi. Uh, can I can I do 21 damage here? No, I can only do 18. So we're gonna block all of this. How is everyone today? All right. So I want to be I want to be putting status effects on people. So we'll take intimidate and let's. I really want to upgrade bash and intimidate. So fingers crossed, here we go. Oh, well, defends are good. That's still very good. All right, sadistic nature, let's defend. I could have killed that slime, but I didn't realize. <laughs> let's intimidate, let's block. And then we want sadistic nature to come out next with bash. There we go, and I can kill it. All right, all right, all right, we're off to a good start. I took a lot of damage in that opening section. Um, I feel like I feel like Whirlwind is the take, and I don't know why. Hmm. But I'm going to go with it. Something's just telling me to take that. It is a good card, fundamentally. All right, let's do this fight here. Little Cultist. Bash. And uh, he's well on his way to going down. Awesome. And yeah, we've got him on the next round. Cool. So we're on 50 health. We've done the first three fights. We've got a Sneko Oil. Uh, I think seeing red might be a good take. And then let's go get some upgrades and stuff. So I'm going to upgrade Sadistic Nature. I'm going to try and hang the build around that card because it's so cool. We're going to upgrade uh, Bash. It still only does the Sadistic Nature damage once with the three vulnerable, but I just feel like it gives me more reason to use Bash. Uh, let's remove a card, and I think we'll take out a strike. And then let's do an upgrade here. Now, I could upgrade uh, Seeing Red here to get the extra energy, but I think I'm going to upgrade Whirlwind. That's kind of my main attack card. And then we'll look at upgrading Seeing Red later. Uh, hmm. Left or right, left or right. Red pill, blue pill. Let's go for the left. Uh, letter opener. Three skills? That is likely, because I've got um, Intimidate, so let's take that one. Excellent. So, 8 times 3 is 24, and that kills all of them. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Taking those gremlins out, which look like that's very satisfying. Now, none of these do status damage, but I think Spot Weakness might be a good one. 
sort of build up on uh, Whirlwind. Sadistic Nature. And then let's... Let's do Bash straight away. And then I'm going to actually save Intimidate and use it when it'll come in useful. We're going to play the Sneko Oil now. See what comes out. A couple of strikes. That'll do. And then actually going to play the Artifact Potion as well. Because uh, this guy puts some uh, weird status effects on me. If you're in the chat, uh, let me know how the audio is. I had to do some remixing yesterday when I was set up on uh, the new computer. This is the PlayStation, but the balance is usually pretty good. Okay, we're going to spot weakness. Uh, we're going to bash. And then I guess we'll just attack and just, just take that 18 damage. Ouch. He's dead. Smooth stone, duplication, and then... Hmm. Should I take Entrench and get it upgraded? That might not be a bad shout. Sadistic Nature, Intimidate, and then we'll block here. And we should be able to get the Louse on the next one with Whirlwind. Yeah. I'll take the seven damage, I'm not too worried about that. Hmm. Twenty-three. Can I do twenty-three damage? Yep. Yes I can. Heart of iron, very nice. Uh and then I don't no, if I want any of these now. Headbutt would be good to play with Bash. Uh, I think we're going to wait till I get something that's already upgraded. So let's get the upgrade here. I think we'll upgrade in Trench because two cost for that can be a bit rubbish at this low level. Uh, let's uh, play these. Unfortunately, Sadistic Nature is not yet out. I'm going to save the Duplication Potion and I'm going to use it on the boss. On Sadistic Nature, I think. Right, that's him dead. Distilled Chaos, okay. Ooh, Feed, yeah, let's have that. Now, what should I upgrade? I think I'll upgrade Spot Weakness and scale that strength up a bit more. So we're going to uh, duplicate Sadistic Nature, so we do 14 damage whenever we do a status effect, that's great. Let's uh, just use Distilled Chaos now. And there we go. We're well on our way. Do I want to use Feed here? How much energy has that one got? 34, so it's not going to go down with that hit. I think we'll just block. And I'll hang on to feed, see if I can get a bit of extra maximum health. Can I cut this guy down to size? And get him down to 14, which is pretty good. If I get whirlwind out, I can kill him. Twelve. And out. Feed. Will this work if I do this? Yes, it does. Alright, we'll do seeing red and then we'll just kill this lot. Awesome. All right, and then I think I'm going to take Barricade, and we'll look at building up that block. That'll be a nice way to... Did I just skip the flipping relic? Okay. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna crash out. I don't... I 
tap the button by accident. So let's just let's just say. <laughs> I'm a bit jumpy. I've just watched a seminar, so I wouldn't normally do that. Like if I made a mistake, I'd never do that. Uh, like a you know, a tactical mistake. But I just I tapped the triangle button, which was a very dumb thing to do. Uh... Okay. Now, Mark of Pain. I took this before, and it messed me right up. Coffee dripper means I can't heal. So, hmm. Let's go for coffee dripper and see how we get on. Right, we've got a shop here on the left. And then I've got the option to either go fight the flaming elite or take two upgrades as I veer off, uh, if you look at that on the left hand side. So I think we'll take this left track. And uh, see how we go. Uh, I can't block, so I might as well play Barricade. Let's do a Defend here, and then the Whirlwind. In Swim. Block again, Bash again, or Intimidate. Now, unfortunately, uh, I haven't played Sadistic Nature. I want to try and get uh, the bottled... Is it a bottled tornado? The thing that lets you store a card at the beginning. And, and stick that in it, just so I can start every fight with that. That would be extremely handy. There we go. I would have liked to have killed him with... Uh, what's it called? With uh, Feed, but it was not to be. I think we'll take Inflame here. And then 50% chance to get a curse. And we didn't get one. Awesome. I'm happy with that. Now. Let's defend. Entrench. Uh, I think I'll just use feed on this guy. We're going to kill the back one first. Block, block, attack. Good gosh, right. Right, he's dead. And we'll block this incoming. I may not actually get a chance to kill the, uh, the guy in the front here. Although, there we go. Should get him on the next one, hopefully. Nice. Speed potion there. Now, Rupture, I'm not really doing any self-damaging cards, so I'll probably leave that. But Body Slam I want to take because I've got Barricade. So we're really looking at sort of building up the block here. Even though Disarm is a great card, um, I'm going to take Body Slam. And we'll try and get that one upgraded. Uh, got a few options here. So Rampage, which is nice. Uh, Whirlwind. Fire breathing's always good. Whenever you shuffle your draw pile, gain six block. That can be good for a a bit of an infinity deck. I don't need extra energy. I'm happy with that. So, but I have got a lot to spend, so I think I'll take that one. I'll take a card removal, and we'll take out a strike. And then, yeah, it's kind of like... Do I use purity and try and get the... Yeah, I need. No, I don't have any cards that draw out, do I? No, that's pulling in the opposite direction away from the, the block build. So I think we'll spend the remaining 193 on violence. And just executing some good attacks. I think that's... That's the right card for that one. Uh, I don't want to get a curse. No. Oh, no. Uh, let's go uh, here. Okay. Remember where that normality is. Another barricade. We don't want that either. Bloodletting could be good, actually. Especially if it comes out with barricade. So we'll take that. 
And then I've got one more attempt here. I uh, don't want barricade. All right, cool. We've got bloodletting. I think that's... Now, do I want to fight two elites or do I want two upgrades? I think I'm just going to go for two upgrades. Uh, let's take an upgrade on barricade so that we can always play it. And now I, now I really want to look at adding about five good block cards, I think. That's the... That's going to be the ticket. So... That's Whirlwind. Now, it would be nice to be able to play Feed here, but alas, I do not have any energy. Sadistic Nature. Let's do Intimidate. And then uh, the bird is dead. I could have left the bird actually and attacked the chosen there. But... Right, three random attacks. Let's barricade and defend. I'm going to take 10 damage here. Ouch. Cool. We got him. All right then. Upgraded Whirlwind. I've already got one. Uh, I think I will leave all of those. And then let's pick an upgrade here. Uh, let's go for... What does that do? Four random attacks. Let's upgrade Body Slam so it costs nothing. That's one of my favourite kind of setups there. Now, do we want to go for a heart kill? That's the question. Centennial Puzzle is good. Uh, Sapphire Key... It's good, but it's not, like, game-changing good. I think this is my chance to take the Sapphire Key. So I'm going to do that. Let's uh, go in the mystery room here. Have a look around the shop. Uh, I think I will buy the Dexterity Potion. And then I'm going to take this track. I'm going to avoid the Elite there. And what we really want is my flipping whirlwind card. No, it's not come out. That is a shame. But we can use this. We can do body slam. Now, can I? How much does he need? That's a shame. I would like to kill him with feed. Let's keep feed because it might come out, might have an opportunity to kill another cultist with it. And that would be very good indeed. Let's attack and kill him. Now this is the time I might want to be considering using the speed potion. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's do seeing red. Let's play barricade. Let's use the speed potion and block. Then let's inflame and we'll just do 10 damage to each of them. And we'll look at trying to take them out on the next round. Alright, sadistic nature. Kill you. Perfect block. Right, so I've got a block 15. I can do 12. 12 is good enough. I think we've got this guy on this round. Oh, now, <laughs> whirlwind will kill him. Body slam a yes. Finally, there we go. I don't really need the extra energy, but it's just nice to to pull that off. Uh, rupture. We're not really damaging ourselves, so it's not that useful. Drop kick is because um, I've pretty much always got vulnerable on him. Uh, let's see if we get a good event this side, and then we'll get the upgrade after. Another shot. Don't want anything there. So oh ah now could I upgrade or could I get the ruby key? Let's get the ruby key. Why not? Let's go crazy. Sneko. Hello, Mr. Sneko. What do you know? I just want this guy dead, so I'm using feed now. All right. This is going to mess us up, because we've got four energy, but that's not, like, amazing energy. Uh, let's uh, bash. Defend. Defend again. At least we've got Barricade in place on the first round, which is a bit of a game changer. Now, Sadistic Nature is costing me three here. Let's do Dropkick and see what comes out. 
Uh, let's let's avoid sadistic nature and let's play violent. Then we'll have three energy to spend on stuff. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we will. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Seeing red, we can play every card. There we go. Right. We're sorted for block now. I just need um, Body Slam to come out. Are you joking? Not a single bit of block. Oh, well, fine. Can you believe that? At least we didn't take any damage. Uh, let's bash. Let's drop kick. And there we go. Speed potion. Uh, shrug it off. Ideal. Perfect. Let's upgrade that one immediately. That's one of my favourite cards to have upgraded. Especially when I'm sort of doing a block deck. The Collector! I played as the Collector on my live stream yesterday. It was very much fun. I think we're going to play the deck potion here. And I'm just going to go ahead and metallicize straight away. Alright. Let's bash. Let's drop kick. Shrug it off. I was hoping to get barricade out right at the start there. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and just use feed now. Because I don't want to be like negotiating around feed. Alright. Okay, so that's 14, 32 damage incoming. With 16 block. Ah, I should have paid the speed potion. There we go. Whoopsie. Maybe I need to slow down a bit because I am racing around my decisions here and I will make a mistake. Let's definitely barricade. I just want that in play. We'll double up that. Bloodlet just to get in flame on the board. Okay. So we're on just over half health. I can cope with that. Let's defend, defend again, entrench. Let's let's strike you, and let's body slam you. Okay, this is a good place to intimidate because everyone takes damage from it. Boom, boom, boom. Loving it. Loving it just like if you are loving the live stream, please consider leaving me a like. I'm told that asking people to do that in the middle of the stream is a really good idea, but it feels weird. Okay, whirlwind. I've got so much block now, I really kind of don't need to worry. Let's drop kick. Cool. The torch heads are back. Uh, let's build strength. Let's shrug it off. 61 damage. And we've got him. 92. Thank you very much. So the objective for Act 3 is uh, get more block and get that other crystal. So let's take Impervious because that really is good after Barricade. Gives you that jump. I won't skip the Relic this time. <laughs> uh, we're not getting a lot of potions. But they can't... Yes, we are. I always say we aren't, but we are. So let's go for Busted Crown, because I'm pretty happy with the cards. And in fact, I might just remove a few strikes if I can. Five energy is going to be great for setup. And then I'm going to just uh, quickly pause and run and get some water. I'll be back in about 30 seconds. That was probably less than 30 seconds. Probably more like 15 seconds. All right. 
proceed. So Act 3, we've got the Time Eater boss. Uh, I'm not feeling that that's going to be a problem. We're, we're playing about five to six guards a turn. So she'll go up in strength every two turns. Once my build is online, the the block scaling up's not going to make that's not going to be a problem. Her um, her strength's going up. So let's look at this left track. Get in the shop, see what we can get. Oh, uh, then I'll miss I'll miss an upgrade if I do that. No, I won't. No, because if I fight that has oh, that one means fighting two elites. Potentially three. I think I will miss the shop and I'll try and get into that second shop, maybe. Oh, there's a shop this side. Okay. Uh, oh, and that's the Flaming Elite. Oh, I actually have to go this way. So I've got no choice. Is that right? Yeah, there's no other way to get to that Flaming Elite. So we'll do this one. Right, barricade, and flame, exploder. The reason I'm not being too fussy about the feed card is because I've got 86 health, and it's just a lot. Let's kill the spiker while it's still got low, low spikes. Right, Exploder has to go down this turn. Cool. The Repulsor's putting those flipping dazes into my deck. And because the deck is small, uh, they're, they're showing up pretty quickly. But I just need any attack card to come out now, basically. Bloodletting's a bit of a dead card now. A bit of a deady, deady dud dud. Cleave. No, I don't need cleave. Right, spot weakness and intimidate. We'll uh, block there. And then. <laughs> I always end up playing feed, it always seems to come out at the beginning. Play Barricade. There's no block cards there, which is kind of frustrating. But what can you do? Take the hit. Sadistic Nature. Inflame. Bash, and then we'll block. Ouch. That's nearly half health just from that. I'd love a Juggernaut right now. That would be pretty awesome. War Cry. I will... Take that. That might that might save me. Uh, Brimstone. At the start of your turn, gain two strength, and all enemies gain one strength. That will absolutely trash me when it gets to the heart. So no, <laughs> I'm not taking that. I think we're going to lose a strike. I think that might be. Do you know what? I might lose bloodletting. I don't need the energy anymore, and it's just getting in the way. Whereas at least a strike is a bit of an a bit of attack, you know. Uh, let's uh, let's overlook Inflame in this case because yeah, I don't need it because my attack power is coming from having lots of block, and I really want to get that block build online as soon as possible. Uh, let's uh, get violence out. Right, intimidate. Can at least kill one of these. We'll block. And then that one's going down next, next turn. Okay, let's uh, use Warcry first and see what comes out. What should we put back? Let's put Impervious back. Then let's uh, Inflame. Let's kill this one. Oh, if I use Shrug it off, I will pull out Impervious. Oh, well. 
That's fine. I don't really need it. I don't really need it until I got barricade working. There we go. Right. I'm going to take 10 damage here. Ouch. It's a shame barricade came out so late, really. Uh, let's do seeing red. Barricade, defend, double. There we go. I didn't actually realise I'd get the kill there. Uh, and then shrug it off again. Yeah, very nice. Uh, so many strength cards. Uh, none of these are particularly game-changing for this build. Flame Barrier, I think, would have been good earlier. Uh, might be worth just taking a colourless potion. Just to see what... Just if I get in trouble, really, with uh, the Act 4 Elite or the Heart rather than another block card when I've now got so many. Although, although against the heart, that four damage could be incredibly useful. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's take it. We've got tons of energy, so it's not really going to be a problem. Now, this one's a bit of a race to the finish, really. Uh, let's put let's put feed back at the top. Uh, violence. Uh, I wanted to get bash out, but alas, it was not to be. Let's just play feed. Cool. It will save intimidate for when he's doing the heavy hits. Come on, Barricade, where are you? Let's try and draw it out. Yes, there it is. Lovely job. Right. I've got 12 there. Let's inflame and then entrench. Right, now it's racing to get my block up <laughs> before his attacks get crazy. So let's body slam him and then whirlwind. Boost my strength. Cool. Yeah, so my block is high. But he's going to chop it down pretty quickly. Nice. Now I want Intimidate out. There it is. Okay, so let's Intimidate him. Let's put the flame barrier, uh, defend, entrench. Haha, <laughs> we're on a hundred block now. And it really is unlikely that um, he's going to be able to get through the block. There we go, 212, and we got him. Nice. We can just do that same strategy against the heart. We will be laughing. I do not want clash. Thank you very much. Hello, Yetosaurus. Yeetosaurus uh, in my chat is saying, love to slay the Spire content. You bet. I thought I'd go and do an Ironclad run uh, just because it's, you know, it's the default character and all of that. And I'm doing Ascension 1. And it's looking like if this goes well, I'll get to fight the Corrupted Heart at the end of the final act, which is just great. So I'm going to upgrade Flame Barrier here. Try and boost that block up a bit. And then colourless cards. So we've got 25 cards. But some of them disappear. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine that disappear. So actually, once I'm going full tilt, I've actually got a deck of only 16, which means that essentially every three rounds I'm going through everything. So. What I really want to do is remove another strike and replace it with a body slam. And that means like every second hand I've got a body slam. Yetosaurus is saying the Watcher is a personal favourite. I like the Watcher. If you dig through my back catalogue, I've got a couple of the Watcher runs in there. Um, very good for doing those like broken power gamer builds. Um, I think we're going to take the one colourless card here. 
forethought, put a card from your hand to the bottom of your draw pile. It costs zero until played. I do not need that card, so I'm going to skip this altogether. 72 gold. Ink bottle. Whenever you play 10 cards, draw one card. Hmm. What I don't want to do is miss out on barricade. I think that's unlikely. Let's do that. It's more likely to help us than hinder us, hinder us taking that one. Let's uh, fight a boss from Act 1. Guardian. Uh, I think we're going to throw down the power potion for this guy. And let's uh, take demon form. Very cool. And then we will just... We'll use seeing red now, and then we'll just work with. Right. Pretty solid opening start. How are you doing today, Yetosaurus? Let's play Barricade. Sixth block. I'm going to play Warcry here, see what I can get to come out. Alright, we'll pop Strike back off on top. We'll do Sadistic Nature, Entrench, and then we'll put the Inflame on. I didn't really need to take the Inflame card. I could have just left it. It doesn't really add much. But at the time, I didn't know any better. So let's uh, play Violence and get some good attacks out. Now, I want to be putting out attacks here, so let's... Uh, let's build the block... We'll play Bash, and then we'll do the Body Slam for 45. Lovely. So, yeet, I'm doing a, uh, a block build with a view to taking it up against the heart. So I'm trying to avoid anything that buffs those little multi-attacks. Uh, so that the attacks from the heart stay low from the Corrupted Heart. Let's uh, build our strength here, and then I think we'll just use Impervious now. And we've just got that nice block buffer that's not going anywhere. Now, can I kill it with a feed? That would be good. 30. How much is feed doing there? He's got 47, 36. That's going to be 93. That's going to kill him outright. I don't think I can kill him with feed, so let's just kill him. Never mind. Gambling chip. At the start of each combat, discard any number of cards, then draw that many cards. Fire potion, very nice. Uh, blood for blood, we're going to skip for this one. It doesn't complement the build. Uh, I don't want madness for this, I don't need it. Uh, 22 HP. I'm just going to lose 4 max. That still leaves me on 82. I don't want a Rive card to deal with. I've got, it doesn't benefit me in any way, so we're going to skip that. Right, let's ditch absolutely every single one of these crap cards. Goodbye. Uh, let's use Warcry, pull out something good. Let's pop... Uh, let, it's going to come straight back out again, so let's just stick Strike up there. Play, shrug it off, shrug it off again. Really want Barricade to come out, you know. Uh, let's bash anyway. Drop kick. And in flame. Okay, we didn't get Barricade, which is a shame, but uh, I, will, I will cope. We're going to use the Fire Potion. Not now, we'll use it on the next round. Because I want that... I want a space free to pick up some some good uh, potions. All right, let's build up this block. Oh, there's barricade. Aha, seeing red, barricade. That was awesome. Uh, let's play the fire potion on you and then do 60 damage. So he's doing 48 to me, but I've got 52 block, so I am safe. Right, he's about to do 30. So let's sadistic nature. Let's intimidate. Bring that down a bit. Let's just get some block. Uh, get some strength, sorry. And then we'll do violence. Oh, there were no... Uh, there were no... I had nothing in my draw pile. I'm going to take 8 damage now. 
Ouch. Okay. Let's block. 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 <laughs> and block again. 110 block. Thank you very much. Loving that. Hello, everybody in the chat. I see uh, people are joining now. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I've had a lovely day. I had a burrito for my dinner, so that left me happy. And my uh, eldest son returned home from a week away working, and we sat and we had burritos. I tried to fix his phone. 169 damage. Cracking. 13 gold. Swift potion. Uh, metallicize. Yeah, I am actually am going to take that. All right, let's... We've got Flaming Reptomancer, so they're healing seven at the end of every round. That is pretty rough. I'm going to keep Whirlwind. I'm going to lose these, though. i um, not going to lose Shrug It Off. I'm going to keep that. Okay, let's think carefully. We're going to draw three cards here. Sadistic Nature is good. Uh, let's uh, Shrug It Off, see what we get. Red Barricade. Alright, this has worked out really well. This has worked out really very, very well. Now, 12 times 2 is going to kill the daggers. So we're not going to build the block anymore. We're going to kill the daggers. And then we're going to then build the block a bit more after that. Let's get the size up. And then we'll body slam for, what was it, 34. Cool. That was a really good opening hand. Very, very happy with that. Let's play Warcry, see what we get. Uh, let's pop drop kick back just for now. Block and double block. Um, in flame. And then I think I will actually just use Bash to take out the dagger. I've got any attacks? No, no attacks. So violence is useless. Uh, let's just put... Let's use feed because it's higher. Cool. I'm going to save violence. Build that block. got a hundred blocks so I'm not too worried about really anything <laughs> so let's just focus on the repto now uh, I've got no zero costs oh no I've got body slam yeah okay body slam and she is dead 27 gold uh, the more bank uh, that's actually good because if I'm going into Act four, there's a shop. Emerald key. And then we, w we won't take Clash. That's not the right card for this build. Okay, let's get rid of those. Sadistic nature. Shrug it off. Okay. I'm going to focus on the Exploder first. Nice. Uh, and we got a bit of extra max HP for that. This will do a bit of damage to everyone there. Good, a nice opening round. The ink bottle's about to give us an extra card draw, which is super useful. I kind of don't need to play Barricade here, but I will, just because. Now let's not play Whirlwind, because I will take six damage, and I don't want to do that. Let's just play Imbervious now. Uh, is there any benefit to bringing... Oh yeah, could get Body Slam out, actually. Alright. And it got rid of those Dazed cards, so that's good. Gonna hydrate there, defend. And let's kill one of the Repulsors. With this much block, we just really don't need to worry about anything. I've uh, got no attacks in my draw pile, so 
It will just end the turn there. Double my block again. And then, now I can do Whirlwind. There we go. Don't want Seven Soul. Okay, so I think we'll pick an upgrade here. Uh, what would be good to upgrade? I think probably... Probably Metallicize, actually. Although it's only one block per round on a boss fight, that's that acts, that ends up being quite a lot for the cost of one energy. So we are going to ditch all of these. We're going to play Sadistic Nature, play in Flame. Uh, I'll see about the Dexterity Potion. We'll see how the fight's going because I'm not sure it's really needed. Um, I don't need to play these block cards right now because I don't have Barricade active. All right, so she's going to do 30. Let's see if we can mitigate all of that. Uh, so to that end, I'm not actually going to attack. Just going to entirely block. We've got six card plays coming up. So my strategy with the Timekeeper, the Time Eater, sorry, is going to be to build my block and then when the block is high, attack. Like that. So I've got two more card plays. Let's, uh, there's nothing I can actually play in the draw pile, so there's no point playing Warcry or Intimidate because she's not, she's not fighting, so. Right, 39, got two card plays. So let's use both of those on blocking heavily. Now it's just a matter of playing clever um, and keeping that block high. Use violence, uh, we'll do seeing red. And then we'll just play these, all these attack cards, and we'll play Feed. Nice, okay. Now. How many card plays have I got? I've got two left, so rather than use Spot Weakness, I will actually... To save those two card plays. I'm just going to do a nice, slow, careful fight. This is the this is the place to play Intimidate, really. Let's just shrug it off first. And then, yeah, we'll Intimidate her. Cool. I can't see any reason why we were ever going to drop below, like, 50 block now. I think we can possibly kill her in the next two turns before she heals up because she's only got 80 all I need all I need is body slam to come out oh she's healed all oh, right never mind <laughs> completely forget what I just said right, drop kick got one more card play I think we'll spend that on block Hello Talion, how are you doing? I hope you're well today. How was your day? Um, I am attempting a heart kill. If you look up in the top top left, we've got our... Uh, over there. I can't get over there. Blah, blah, blah. We've got our keys done. I've uh, got a block build, which was unintentional, but it has worked out pretty well. Um, we're going to spot weakness there. We use war cry. Yeah, I'll pop that back on there. How many cards have I got left? Yep. So 120 with vulnerable, 195. Down with the time eater. Um, we're on Ascension 1. So it's not like the hardest difficulty, but I have made a few mistakes, but nothing particularly noticeable. 
A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of this evil? You ready your blade? 899. Consciousness begins to fade and a sudden burst of energy emanates from inside you, jolting you awake. The heart retreats upwards. A large door is revealed in its place. Here we go. The final act. Yeah, I was doing... I wasn't sure what build I was doing to start with. I got Sadistic Nature to start off as my first card on the, on the whale. And then I upgraded Bash shortly after that. And then I took some random stuff like Inflame I don't really need. Uh, War Cry is okay. But generally, just some powerful block cards. Uh, I wanted to get rid of these strikes, but it never happened. Let's grab an upgrade here. I think we'll upgrade Shrug it off. And then I got Barricade, and then I was just laughing. So we'll see. I might still not not. I still might not get the get the kill, but I think we're going to take away a strike. I did have um, Bloodletting earlier where you take damage to get energy but I got rid of it because it was I was not using it. Upgrade two random attacks. Do you know what? I think I'm gonna do that. Because I've got the attacks already, they might as well be more powerful. Okay, what should we get rid of here? I think we're gonna keep impervious in there. Let's get rid of Dropkick, let's get rid of Seeing Red, and let's see what comes out. Cool, that's actually really good. Gets rid of their artifacts, which I didn't realise they had, I thought it was going to hurt them. And then let's just pull out some attacks here. Oh, Metallicize, very nice. And then... I've like hardly used Feed at all. Like, at all. Uh, let's <laughs> do that, and then I'll use the strike because I don't want to change direction all of a sudden. I'm saving those potions for the heart, if I can, if I can get away with it. So let's flame barrier, shrug it off, see if we can get barricade out. Come on, yes, nice. Barricade. So now it's just a matter of trying to build up that block, which is very hard on this fight. Very hard indeed. Let's uh, do spot weakness on you. Block. More block. More block. And then we'll body slam him for, what was it? A few. A little bit. Alright, so we took a hit there. Not preferable, but there you go. Let's play in flame just to get it get it gone. Flame barrier, defend. I feel like I don't need seeing red anymore because I've done all of the setup, so I'm actually just going to burn it for the sake of it. Right, I'm feeling healthier now. This feels like a healthier situation. It's whirlwind, and then body slam on you. It's, getting, it's really hard to actually build the block on this fight. I'm just not getting the high... Uh... The high numbers. Okay, shrug it off. Defend. Yeah, let's stay facing him and... Yeah, that's what I was hoping. Bye bye, Spire Shield. Kapow. Nice. Unless the next hand goes disastrously wrong. Oh. Oh, I had to say it. <laughs> I had to say it. <laughs> oh, can you believe it? Look, 21 damage. I think I'm safe. I think I'm going to take... Yeah, just under. Yeah, okay. So many burns. He's going to kill himself on the first hit there. Oh, there we go. We got him. Nice. Tungsten Rod. Whenever you would lose HP, you lose one less. That's great, especially against the heart. 
especially in the first round. Infernal Blade, add a random attack to your hand. It costs zero this turn. <sighs> That's upgraded as well, right before the heart. If I take it and it's crap, I'm going to be really sad. But if I don't take it and I needed it, I'm going to be really sad. So I think... What do you think, chat? Let me know. What do you think I should do? Should I take the Infernal Blade or not? I'll go and get some more water while, uh, while you're deciding. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, in the chat, Talion's there. If you're playing defensively, it probably wouldn't work with the build. Does the attack card stay at zero cost the whole fight? And does it stay in your deck until the end of combat? It does stay in the deck till the end of combat. It doesn't stay at zero. So let's say I get Bludgeon. Really good. But I see what you're saying, and my instincts are telling me to leave it. I'm going to focus on building that block, so we won't take it skip card and here we go the corrupted heart so a few things about the corrupted heart if you are watching this and you're not familiar with it um, every time you play a card it attacks you for one um, so you have to play block first essentially um, and then you can do a maximum of 300 damage per round so you can't like build up a ton of block and kill it in one you have to be playing lots of rounds so first thing we're going to do is ditch these three. Nice. Okay, so we play Flame Barrier first. So I've blocked and I've got a nice sizable bit of block before it hits me. Barricade it hits me again, you see. Metallicize, it hits me again. Entrench, it hits me again. Uh, and then, and then, yeah, that's a really good opening hand. Really good. And then we'll Body Slam. I'm gonna, I should have played it before, but I'm going to play Dex, the Dexterity Potion now. I might save this block potion. <laughs> just, I'm just play it at a clutch moment. Now this attack card, if I get a body slam out of this, I'm going to be really happy. But let's just wait and see what it is. Because right now, it's with the heart, it's not about getting like one big powerful hit or anything like that. It's about like a consistent, sustainable method of building up your power and chipping away at it over time. So it's given me a bunch of crap in my hand. Um, I've got a wound that I can't get rid of. I've got a daze that I can't get rid of. I've got a burn I can't get rid of. I've got void and slimed. I can get rid of both of them. So let's play impervious. Play that. Let's get rid of that slimed because I don't want that. And 3 times 12, 36 damage coming in. Uh, I think, do you know what, now feels like the time to play this attack potion. I did not get, I did not get a good card. <laughs> uh, I don't want bludgeon, it doesn't actually do that much damage on this fight. So I'm going to do the crazy thing here and not take any of these. I don't want those clogging up my, my deck. Okay. 
Uh, Brafart says, hi, daddy. Uh, Brafart, unless you are actually one of my children, I'm not sure what to say to you about that, but um, you're still welcome here. Thanks for joining. I hope you enjoy Slay the Spire. Right, let's shrug it off here. Let's definitely intimidate, bring that down to 45. And then I think now is time to play the block potion. I think I'm just going to hold off the attacks. What have I got in there? <laughs> Brafart says, uh, I do enjoy Slay the Spire and uh, is not one of my children. Good to know. They do seem to come out of the woodwork every once in a while. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's go careful here. What's more valuable to me in this fight, because I don't have any backups, I've got no lizard tail, I've got no fairy in a jar, I've got, I've got no way of recouping any HP, so I'm not going to start attacking him and lowering that block down. I'm just going to take the 45. Damage. Alright, sadistic nature, that's good. Defend, defend. We'll just drop kick for the sake of it. Uh, we'll keep seeing red in the hand. I've got a feeling it might come in useful. Uh, Truck it off. Let's war cry, try and get some block out. Wow, there's some trash coming out here. Uh, let's get rid of... 4 times 12, what's 4 times 12? 48. So I can afford to play 1, 2, 3, 4 cards. Okay, nice. Hmm. <laughs> so we survived that hit, but barely. And now he's about to do 42, so we're going to get hurt. We're going to get so very, very hurt. Oh, there were no. Oh, there were no attacks in my. There were no attacks in my draw pile. Ouch. Oh, I was feeling so good about this fight before it started, and, and now I'm nearly dead. Right, got 70 block. He can chew through that pretty quickly. Block again. Spot weakness in flame. Oh, I'm going to get rid of this seeing red. It's not doing me any favours. Six times twelve. Ouch. Oh, I'm getting absolutely trashed here. Eight times twelve. I'm dead. Oh my god! <laughs> One health! <laughs> well, I got no block card, so I am now dead if I play another card. Yeah. If I play any other card, I'm, I'm dead and I've got nothing to block with, so. It is over. It is over. Let's see what we can do to hurt him. Let's play Whirlwind. Let's just get off one last shot. F. F in the chat. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we've unlocked here. We've unlocked Wild Strike, Evolve, and Immolate. Evolve would have been good. All those flipping status cards. That's kind of what messed me up, was having such a small deck and all the status cards. Um, having too many attacks and not enough block cards. Uh, but still, good fun. Um, unlocked, unlocked Ascension 2, so I'm counting it as a win. Uh, let's just go have a look at that. And we've nearly got the full set of unlocks for the Ironclad now. I think the next one I do will be the Silent Ascension one. Crumbs. 
I'm just going to type into the chat if you're new to the channel um, and you're interested in Slay the Spire, um, if you want to pop over to our Discord, me, Talian, Sia Matthew isn't, I don't see him in the chat, um, and a couple of others, we, we regularly talk Slay the Spire and we discuss like runs and strategies and all that kind of stuff. I'm just putting the link in here. I don't know if it's good or bad that I know this random link like off by heart now. Oh, I'm logged in as the podcast. <laughs> where, it's, where it says the Made to Game podcast, uh, that is uh, the link to my Discord server. So yeah, head on over there, say hi if you want to. Um, let me know what you would uh, like, me to, uh, like to see me cover next. I do kind of vanilla Slay the Spire, but I also play mod packs as well. I'm currently working my way through the Downfall uh, mod, which is where you play as the enemies and you play as the bosses and stuff, and just did my first run as the beta test of the Collector, uh, the Act 2 boss, the Collector with the little raven, with the little raven chair, and that was pretty fun, but I didn't win. <laughs> uh, and I've done a couple as like the slime boss and stuff, and I've kind of run through all of them, lots of fun. So yeah, let me know what you'd like me to do there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to sign off now and go make myself a cup of a decaffeinated tea because it's quite late in the UK. It's 8.34. I don't want to be buzzing before I try and go to bed later. Um, so wherever you are in the world, have a lovely day. And uh, please think about dropping me a like on the stream or on the video and if you aren't subscribed to the channel uh feel free to subscribe as well you'll you'll catch the next one and we can all talk slay the spy together it'll be fun um and talian informs me that he has left his hot tea on the counter two hours ago dude have you got a microwave i i have had to dispose of my microwave because the little timer knob stopped working so i can't reheat my abandoned tea Yeah, you got to microwave that stuff, man. You can do it. I believe in you. Right, see you all again. Have a lovely day. Bye.